Howdy folks, we got this carbon defiant we put a string on and we're going to set it up. So let's start this thing off by putting a loop on and then we will time the cams, set the yokes, paper tune it, and that's it. Hope y'all are having a good day. Thanks for watching. If it's your first time tuning in, hit the old subscribe button. Check out our other videos. We put out three videos a week. We got a podcast, we got a live feed, and then we got a random video that comes out on Sunday that's shooting or tuning or whatever. So give us the old, hit the old subscribe button. Greatly appreciate it. So what we're doing here is we got our string level and our arrow level. I'm tying these little serving knocks that's going to be inside the loop. I'm going to throw a loop on it. I'm gonna, we got a draw board I'm going to walk over here to after this is over. Get the cams timed. And... See how she does through the old paper tuner. I'm going to go ahead and take that off. Uh, we have got, this is the buckskin color, I think they called it, of Carbon Defiant. Shooting the Beeman ICS wide out arrows. So it should be a good combo. We built him a tan and black. BCY X99 custom string. Got it good and pre stretched on our pneumatic stretchers. We leave them under about 400 pounds of tension for a couple hours and then we measure them under 100 pounds, get them to factory spec, and then it don't take a whole lot of tweaking to get them right after that. Get that burnt. I'm going to put a little dot of glue over those just where I tied, not the center serving. I can get my glue to work. Come on, glue. There she go. Just a little dot or two there. I'm going to use some accelerator to get that glue to dry. Give that a second. We'll grab some loop material. I primarily use the BCY number 24 loop. Sometimes I'll tinker with some 23, but that's my go-to material. Holds up pretty good. And the purpose of these knocks, you can watch my other tuning videos and we go a little more in depth, but these little knots I tied with this serving here, if we ever have to change this loop out, it don't. we don't have to worry about our exact knocking point changing and it also helps to not pinch the arrow so get that tied find my blade Let that cool off for a second, and then we'll be ready to go. We do sort of three things in one. We go over the draw board. Main thing is the cam timing. We also throw a laser on the top cam to make sure it's not leaning at full draw. And then we're going to check the rest cord and get it timed right. And then we're also going to put the peep in and make sure it's not sideways because 
get it tied in and then we'll put a twist or half twist and get it straight start from start from it being perfect let me give this loop a little stretch get these knots seated let's go to the drawboard hold up folks i forgot to put in the peep sight i just stuck it in there got it lined up where the old one was at let me tie it in might as well get this done before we go to the drawboard i'm gonna tie around it This sort of keeps it, make sure it stays in the string. And then the above and below that we're going to tie, make sure that it don't slide in the string. I think my favorite Hoyt color, and I don't know why they quit making it, they made that dark brown uh, for a couple years. I remember a couple nitrums came in with it, and I think one I put like a flow yellow string, and one I put a flow orange string, and it looked sharp. Harvest brown, I think they called it. I like this buckskin, but it's got like a gritty feel to it, and I just, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not sold on it. Usually when I do this, I'll just take the old string, line the loops up, and then, of course, it'll, the old string's got the knots where the peep was tied. I'll just line it up and get it back where it was at and then have them draw it when they come in, make sure it's still perfect. But that usually works out pretty good. Now let's go to the draw board. Alrighty folks, we're at the draw board. Let's see what we got. I'm sure we'll have to make a few little adjustments here. First thing I'm gonna check is our cam timing. Our bottom is hitting just a little bit before the top, so we're gonna put a twist or two in the bus cable. While I'm at it, I'm gonna check this top cam. My laser's on the edge of the limb, on the right side, edge of the limb. We good on the cam lean. We've had people ask this, if you're at home and you want to check this, it's kind of dangerous because you really need to be at full draw, but if you can draw your bow back and lay an arrow down the cam, if you can see that, it's parallel, it's perfectly even with that side, with the other side, other cam, I guess is what I'm saying, both ways. So if I, if I put it up against the cam on either side, I'm just barely touching the bottom cam. You can also do it at rest, but I feel like it needs to be, you really need to draw, uh, some way of drawing it and checking it at full draw, because I want it perfectly straight when I hit the release. You know what I mean? If it's perfectly straight when it's sitting there, you know, you're, you're in the ballpark. But anyway, we're gonna go over there to the bow press. I'll meet you back over here in two seconds. All I'm gonna do is put about I'm going to probably put two twists in the bus cable and then see where we're at. I already checked the axle to axle, the brace height. We're on the money, so just a tiny twist or two and we'll be ready to paper tune it. Put two twists in the old bus cable. Let's see what that got us. I think we're going to be close. We may have to 
barely tweak the old girl. So now my top cam is just barely ahead. I'm so I'm touching on the top. You can probably see on the camera we're like a, I mean a, not even an eighth off. So what I'm gonna do is go if I take a half twist out of the bus cable, it'll be too much. So I'm gonna go take a half twist out of each of these uh, yokes, and that should put us right on the money. Be right back. Okay, folks, we got her timed. Watch this. I just snatched it back before TJ could get the camera on. I'm going to tell you when I'm going to hit. I'm going to tell you when I'm going to hit. Get ready, get ready. Top hit. Now, I think that's her. TJ shook his head. Yeah. So, we're going to go cut this rest cord, put some serving above it, and head to the paper tuner. Okie dokie, here we are. I tied in our rest cord, if you can see it. Got it timed while we're at the draw board. Peep size tied in, we're at 59 and a half pounds, 28 and a half inch draw. We got a 396 Beeman ICS wide out 340. Um, I did not check the center shot, but I'm just assuming it was already pretty close from before he dropped it off. But of course, if this don't paper tune, we'll change it. We'll see what she does and then we'll chronograph it. It's a smooth drawing bow. We got a left kick, tail left. I'm gonna shoot it one more time to verify and then we're gonna do a little moving around. Yep, tail left. Let me grab an Allen wrench and I'll be right back. All right, so we're shooting tail left. I'm gonna kick the rest to the right about two hash marks. Well, I thought it was. I got the wrong wrench. Hang on. I got a wrench. I got a wrench. It ended up not being the usual QAD size. This is one of those HHA uh, dropaways. I'm going to move it about two hash marks over. Very easy. Uh oh. Uh oh. I might have won about 10. <laughs> I hate it when it ha I'll, that's the good thing about tuning a bow if you have like a micro adjust that thing gets stuck from being there so long and you try to move it and all of a sudden that thing goes crazy but anyway let's just see what happens i think i got it back where i need it let me fire it off we're in the ballpark fresh piece of paper or let me move it over or do something definitely look better I just can't tell if it was perfect or not we're still a little bit tail left so I'm gonna move this rest on over to the right get my wrench in there again there we go maybe it'll move easier this time nope she's locked come on wrist oh, 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 oh. okay want one more hash mark right there where I want it all right let's see what this does this ought to be getting closer it cleaned up a little bit, but it's still not bullet hole ready. We're getting there. All right, folks, it's acting weird through the paper, so I'm going to see what our levels look like. I didn't move the rest so much. I don't want to get too far out of whack. I'm gonna see where we're sitting before I proceed. And my plan of action is probably to get everything back square. Yeah, I didn't got it way out of whack. I'm going to get everything level and back right. And then I may have to put a twist in a 
in the yolk to get it to act right for us. And it's kicking tail left. That means I would put a twist in my left yoke. But let me get it back level first. Come on up, buddy. Let me loosen it some more. I think I went a little too far. It's moving on me as I tighten it up. That's not good. Alright, our string is level. We went a little too far. Alright, let's see where it's at. Alright, I got us back level. I'm gonna just throw an arrow down the side of this thing. See what our center shot looks like. Got it in toward the riser a little bit. I'm gonna get the center shot back out. I kind of chased it to the right a little further than I wanted to. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and put about one twist in that left yoke, and then I'm gonna meet y'all back in there at the paper tuner and let's see what happens. Okie doke, so I went to the bow press. Uh, I put, what I did, I put, went ahead and put a twist and a half in the left yoke. We got a tail left kick, all right? We're back with our center shot dead even. Arrow's perfectly level. In theory, this should work. If this don't work, this arrow is definitely stiff, and a tail left kick means it's stiff, but usually a bow will tune a stiff arrow. Maybe it won't tune a weak arrow. I may change arrows if this don't work and just see what happens, but this is what he's shooting, so... Cross your fingers that this bullet holds and we'll go from there, but if not, we'll keep tinkering. I gotta find a new spot to shoot from. Let me move over. I think that fixed it. We went from, yeah, there we go. We had tail left. Here's our, our last one. It looks a mess. Thanks for watching. We had to do a little tinkering with this bow, but we got her strung up, got her paper tuned. We'll do a walk back, get it set up for him when he gets here. But thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Check out our other videos. We got a spider web on this thing. He must have not shot this for a while. When this bow came in, let me back up. He had hit it with a broadhead, and the cable was was so. It must have sit in the closet for a while because we had spider webs on it there. But anyway, um, when he comes in, we'll get it. We'll get him to shoot it. But thanks for watching. If we can do anything to your bow, give us a call 864-735-8484. ArcherShack at gmail.com. If you need a bow string, ArcherShackStrings.com. Uh, we'll see you on the next video. Check out our live feed on Thursday nights. We do all kind of stuff. We talk sometimes. We tune bows. We do arrows, whatever. Tune in. We'll be watching for you. Whoa, 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 we forgot to chronograph it. We forgot to chronograph it. So, this is a 59 and a half pound bow, 28 and a half inch uh, draw length, 396 grain arrow. Let's see what she does. This is a Carbon Defiant, not the Turbo Hoyt. What y'all reckon? Here we go. 268. That's it. I'm really gone this time. See y'all.